Hello kids, this is Ntaku, and it's part one of Let's Play Resident Evil for the PC, though obviously it was also released on the PlayStation 1 and the Sega Saturn, I think I'm okay in believing. Uh, I'm afraid the intro is a little bit out of order because for some reason in the PC edition of the game, none of the, uh, the cutscenes actually appear. Don't ask me why? They just don't. Well, one does, jarringly, and I don't know why that one does and none of the others do. Anyway, yes, um, we have on this channel completed uh, the Umbrella Chronicles and the Dark Side Chronicles, uh, which I suggest you should go watch because they're delicious. Um, uh, and so obviously we've also uh, already covered the events of this game, so you're probably thinking, well, if we've already sort of covered it, why are we covering it again? Well, uh, basically, there is a certain character who is uh, not appearing in this franchise. Mr. Barry Burton, he's completely cut out of Umbrella Chronicles, both in the Resident Evil 1 and the Resident Evil 3 scenario, jarringly. Um, just to go on a side sequence for a second, what we're looking at now is um, uh, some fussy shot for the North American release of the game. Nobody was in it. A lovely live-action intro. Most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Dear, 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 dear. Uh, because we get like a uh, request for Resident Evil games a lot on here, probably because, uh, you know, due to an in the way call, uh, our coverage of Umbrella and Dark Side Chronicles. Both here on Colin's placing is doing every game in the series. Uh, uh, up to, but probably ignoring uh, the side games such as um, uh, Outbreak and that lot. Get ready for a great expression here. <gasps> oh my god. I'm just going to stay silent for a little bit. Oh, yeah. oh no, I'm mildly upset by his death, anyhow. Uh, yeah, so, if you're on the side games, um, apart from one, in particular I'd like to pay attention to, uh, and probably four and five, probably because they've had so much coverage on YouTube already, then it, it would just be ridiculous to cover them, I believe. Yeah, uh, the one side game that I could contemplate him doing is Resident Evil Gaiden, or, or Gaiden, however you pronounce it, which was for the Game Boy Color. It starred Barry Burton and Leon Kennedy as main characters. Uh, it was by no means a good game, but uh, it's not got a lot of exposure, so I just fancy playing it. Uh, erroneously, this is the intro cutscene for Chris, even though we're playing as Jill, so just ignore that slight error. Only three stars Replace uh, left. Barry Captain with Chris. Risker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. No, we don't know where Chris is, that's the problem. Chris Redfield. Uh, I love this bit. Amazing. Jill Valentine. I'm going to for the next one. Wait for the next one. Barry Burton. Yee! Look at him. Great. Ginger, Chizzy Gog. Yeah, she's going to be uh, Miss not appearing in this game. Albert Wesker. I don't get why, because they included uh, Zero, in Umbrella Chronicles, why they Resident also had evil. uh oh, I've completely forgotten the name now. It was just said a second ago. Oh my god! One man's just gone blank. Rebecca, yeah. Uh why she was the dominant character in the Resident Evil One scenario. I, I thought it would have been good to replace her with Barry. Or at least have Barry in the plane at the end of the three scenario, but uh whatever. I can't really complain. Strangely, it's still there in all the reports that I've compiled throughout the game. That, uh, two games. What, that's what I love about those two games. Wow. What a mansion! What a mansion! Mm. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? And of course, yes. Um, I don't feel like I really need to say this, but well, I'm going to say this anyway because uh, cause everyone knows about this. Basically, this game was uh, horribly translated from Japanese. So the gist of what's being said. Uh, comes go? through still. However, how Chris it's uh, phrased and paraphrased no. is absolutely okay. atrocious. Let me handle this. And the voice acting doesn't really complement it. But I think that makes the game glorious. Just sort of gives a like sort of fun B movie feel to it. I mean, just like uh, people commonly uh, compare uh, the likes of Silent Hill to Resident Evil. I'm actually contemplating doing the Silent Hill games as well. I'm sort of wondering. Should I alternate them? So, do a Resident Evil game, then a Silent Hill game, then another Resident Evil game, then a Silent Hill game, or clear the Resident Evils, clear the Silent Hills, I don't know. Uh, whatever you reckon on that. 
What is but, this? Uh, yeah, I mean, just like, what I don't get why the two are prepared. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. I hope it's jam, so I can have a sandwich. Yeah, I'm trying to put the plaque behind him. Yeah, the controls aren't precise. However, they're not as tanky in the later games. They're a bit more free flowing. Anyway, what the hell was the point I was trying to make? Uh, yeah, I mean, just like, uh, I like Resident Evil and I like Silent Hill. I mean, uh, people can have them because they're the same genre. The Silent Hill is meant for the horror, whereas this uh, series, Resident Evil, is meant more for the fun. That's why I kind of think they lost it in Resident Evil uh, 5, because they sort of, you know, they were playing it a bit too serious, and that was its downfall. It was effective for remake, which I'll be recovering. Uh, when I will be covering it, I'll be doing Chris's side because I'm doing Jill's here. And I'll probably talk about the differences in the two versions whilst I'm actually doing that. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. I think this is the only game in anyway, the series where, or, or is it just PlayStation One games where the zombies actually have green blood? I think in all the other versions there, that uh, it's red. Uh, so obviously that's uh, the Telltale Whale. Telltale Whale? What the hell? The Telltale Way. There we go. Bit of a spooner in there. Um, to tell that a zombie's dead is when the little Wesker! pool comes out in front of them. Or below them, whatever. Help me look for I can't speak well today. I can't speak well. Oh my god, that was another example. I can't speak well most days. Duh. Anyway, to look for Wesker, we just have to run by here. Whee! Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. <laughs> I don't know what's going <laughs> oh on. Oh my well, god. It can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Yeah, okay. because when we I'll came into door, here, he could have sleep no, no. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We this is actually quite the TARDIS mansion. Okay. If you look at it from the outside, Jill, it really doesn't Martin. seem too big. It might be handy if you, the it's even more jarring in the, obviously, the Thanks. remake. Maybe I'll need it. I don't know, I just feel like this entrance hall should be a bit Listen, more grand, considering the size happens, of the house. The layout's also quite rushing this hall. This time, I'll be there. Because you weren't there last time? Yeah. Alright, blue doors, where we should head first. Yes. Oh, wait, actually, no. Uh, this is the one cutscene that does show for some reason. Oh, no, it doesn't. I tell a lie. That was extremely odd. Okay, uh, basically, if you open the door, one of the uh, zombie dogs from outside uh, that were chasing us originally, they uh, called the Cerberus, uh, the Cerberus. Uh, is it plural Cerberuses or Cerberi? Hippopotamus, Hippopotamus is Hippopotamus, Hippopotami. Octopus is Octopi. Cerberus, Cerberi, I don't know. I don't know, there's a map up here. Um, I've not actually played this game in yonks and yonks and yonks. I've played Remake, uh, obviously more recently, but um, uh, still, that was quite a while ago. So please forgive me, I'm, I'm not going to do very well on certain aspects of the game. I don't, I, I don't know what it is, but like, um, feel free to call me an idiot or stupid or whatever, but um, I find this game harder than Remake. Because um, I, I think it's to do with the health system. Because like, uh, I think in the other Resident Evil games, uh, there's uh, the health system slightly different here. It goes to green, to... it still has the green yellow, orange, red thing, but I just really feel like you climb down them faster. I think if on full health you take three hits, you die. Whereas, I sw uh, whereas uh, in Remake, I think it's six, and you die. Obviously, the type of enemy and the severity of which you got hit um, all comes into account. So, I am by no means going for an A rank or anything like that. I save frequently purely because uh, it's convenient for recording. Um, and I use health sprays. <laughs> uh, I'm really not trying anything fancy, I'm just, uh, you know. 
Which kind of feeds... Doesn't this feed the point? I don't know. Pe- people want me just to do this game. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this game, so... Hey. You know. Yes, we'll take the green herb. Uh, I actually had to record this uh, first part several times because he, in the scene when you're talking to Blarry... Larry? Oh, I really can't speak today. When you're talking to Blarry over the pool of blood. That's what's known as anticipation. I took the BL and stuck it in front of uh, Ari or whatever. Um, it just kept freezing randomly for no reason. And on one occasion, it didn't. I think this was actually my second best run. Uh, through. I, I think I had to record it six times over. Admittedly, I could have just re edited that bit, but. Yeah, yeah, that would have made sense. Oh, look! I got a shotgun! I think the scream of that audio actually came from uh, this game, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, if anyone hasn't got a clue what I'm talking about, uh, please go on thatguywiththeglasses.com and look at the failures. It's amazing stuff. Right, okay, uh, I think it's important to check if both doors are locked, otherwise um, something won't happen here. As we'll see in a second. Only now am I finding this strange. I think those walls are nicely varnished. Or open. Hurry, this, way. this way opposed to whatever way. I don't know. Ugh. And of course, uh, in lieu of our fast subscriber special. Oh, Barry! That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> 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 Jill sandwich! Did you say you are going back to the dining room to do some research? Why? Jilly Cooper! It's almost like Barry reacts to that. It's like, uh, okay, man, that, that, that's all fine if you call our dialogue bad. Yeah, uh, this is, uh, I think, exactly 19 minutes long, more or less. Uh, 19 minutes, 1 second, and 36 milliseconds. Uh, but the other videos are probably going to be within a 12 to 15 minute thing. I don't know. Uh, because I had to edit in the beginning cutscene. Yeah, I love the fact uh, there's so many varied zombie character models. Uh, of course, a pro tip of Resident Evil is to use the technique of dropping, where basically you inflict enough damage to an enemy whereby they fall to the floor, uh, allowing you to run past them, which means that you don't use an arrow to kill them. Uh, or alternatively, if you don't want to use any ammo, it is possible in, I think, every single Resident Evil game to complete it fully, even against bosses, uh, only using the knife, obviously with the exception of uh, the final boss in Resident Evil 1. Um, however, I can't be asked doing that. What I do like to do is use the knife as the final hit, unless it's uh, quite busy. I love it. Super! Ooh. Ah, I think the moan's got worse in the Resident Evil games. Like, uh, I, I swear in Code Veronica, uh, they moo. I swear that, especially when you're in the Antarctic facility and walk, run, run around and moo. So, okay. This is basically explaining herbs, blah, 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 blah. Combine them together, you get more potent herbs, you... Uh, a staple of Resident Evil. Don't really need to go into that. Blah, blah, blah. Lovely library. We're going to have a look around. Nothing uncommon. Yep. No. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. It's well arranged. Lovely. You know. Uh, that's a chair. That's not uncommon. Yeah. The translations for the subtitles weren't amazing either. I just don't get when they uh, got the script through to the voice actors department that they didn't sort of like edit it to sort of like rephrase the sentences. I mean, yeah, they're, they're staying true to the source material. And and then there's oh yeah, <laughs> there's the staying true to the source material, and then there's um do 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 you know just being ridiculous. They could have perhaps read those lines and gone oh hang on this ain't quite right. Of course uh, I just there is an example of absolutely fantastic English there it ain't right mm -hmm. yeah fantastic. 
Uh, <laughs> oh god. Yes. Uh, inventory management. That's something I'm not very good at. As will become incredibly apparent. No, I actually had to re-record one part because um, otherwise it would have meant so much backtracking. Backtracking? Yeah. I'm a master of commentary and speech. Jeebus. Holy mother of... I did intend to say Jeebus there. Well, you know, just so you know, honestly. Yeah, one thing I didn't particularly like about the Resident Evil games is all the running about with keys, going blah blah blah, use this door, use this door. Uh, again, to mention first again, if you look at his uh, Resident Evil Afterlife uh, review, which I believe is on YouTube as well, right at the start, it just does a giant piss take of the keys and whatnot. Generally, there are music cues as to where the zombies are. Um, I think after you've traversed an area, then uh, zombies will actually make their little squelchy footsteps. What I don't get about the zombie character models is that their heads are actually fairly well detailed if uh, that was to turn around, but the rest isn't. So I'm like, hmm, I'll have to pay all that attention. Now, I know that we already covered this game in Umbrella Chronicles. I'm doing this now, and um, remake. Uh, I'm probably not going to do Deadly Silence, because uh, I don't think there's much point, but, you know, the only difference is um, the controls are worse, and you have a knife fight with zombies sometimes. Code Veronica, uh, <laughs> that's an LP I think I've attempted three times now. I still don't come to fruition, it's in the dead zone at the moment. I think, uh, when I re record it, uh, well, not rather when I get back to it, uh, after doing the other games, uh, I think I'm just gonna re record it from the very beginning rather than, um, just picking up where I left off. Because, uh, I don't think the cover trip was of a particular quality. Nor was the uh, microphone quality of that thing. But this microphone quality right now isn't exactly brilliant. My proper, proper, proper microphone broke. Uh, I'm um, fixing for a replacement soon. Huh, fixing. Huh, huh, I'm funny. Um, what, what is there left for me to do in this part? Do I literally go downstairs and save? Does that take up two minutes of my time? Alright, so. Uh, if we can get down the stairs, that would be lovely. Hooray! I'm not convinced that there is actually a loading screen uh, here for remake. Ooh, that was a close one. But that'd be fine, didn't I? What is section two minutes from? Oh well, I can, I'm sure I can jabber on about something or other. It's only really for another minute. Blah 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 blah. blah. Chemical thing would you move up? Yeah, it's always good to uh, stick your ingredients in your uh, chest. Don't save the game because uh, generally typewriters and chests are in the same place. Uh, I'm not sure what difficulty it is. Uh, we we depend on what items you get to start. Sort of like uh, clips in here and whatnot. Uh, I don't know what difficulty I picked. I think just normal because there weren't any difficulty things at the beginning. Just start game or load game. I was like, all right, I'll start a game. Cool. Oh, that said, Jill's uh, story is somewhat easier than Chris's. She has more item slots, I think she runs faster. Uh, and obviously, she gets help from Barry every now and then, whereas Chris doesn't. However, in Remake, I believe he does actually get help from Wesker from time to time. So, it's kind of a bit more balanced, you know. Anyhow, I'm going to save the game. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know why I'm certain there. So, please join me for part two of more sandwiches, I don't know.